What is up guys? Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, as you can already tell from the thumbnail, we have another box from a long expected parcel. Sadly, this is the last box from a long expected parcel. Not gonna lie guys, I'm, I'm a little sad. I'm kind of sad that this will be the last box, but the owner, Claire, who is a friend of mine, just decided that this was a little bit much for her right now, which I can totally understand that. So who knows, maybe in the future she will decide to pick back up and make some more boxes for us, but for now, this is the last box. And I cannot wait to see what she came up with. I honestly do not remember the theme of this box. I think it's, oh, I think it's like the fellowship. Like it's about all nine characters. I might be completely wrong. We'll see when we open the box. But yes, guys, we have a Lord of the Rings box and I'm so excited. Now, just to let you guys know, I did buy this box with my own money. I don't remember exactly how much I paid. If I can find that email, I will of course put it on the screen. But let's just go ahead and jump right in. This is taped, very good. Okay, so this is what we see, a lot of packing peanuts. Okay, right on top we have a package that says Gandalf. So yeah, maybe this was the Fellowship box where we got an item on every single one of the members of the Fellowship. So we have Gandalf. Holy rabies, y'all. I, I'm literally speechless and it's only the first item of the box. It's like a mini replica of Gandalf's staff. It even has like the crystal on top. I just want to like whisper into the crystal like Gandalf does and it lights up. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. I have to do it. I, I have to. Are you ready? You shall not pass. I don't wanna like put it too hard and break it. Oh my God, okay. Wow, I am such a geek. Thankfully, we all know this by now. Now this isn't actually made of wood. I don't know what this is made of, like resin maybe, but it looks like it's wood. Like it looks like this is actually like a staff of wood. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I have to move on, I have to move on. But the first item in the box is already a, a win. This box already won for me. So next we have Mary's item, and it's a cup, guys. This, my friend, is a pint. Drink and be merry, the Fellowship 3018. Look how massive this is. I'm pretty sure I'm about the same height as the Hobbits, so, Pretty much the same reaction that Mary had. This is a pint. This is so big. And I think this is like ceramic. I love this. Even the detailing around the cup on the top and the bottom with the gold accents. I do kind of wish it was a different color than green. Like I wish it would have kind of been like the same gold as up here. But I still love this. I will be using this a lot. It's like the size of my head, guys. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the floor so it doesn't break. And next, it looks like we got Sam's item. So it's like this gorgeous mini chest and it has these really pretty flower details on the front and top. And it does have something on the inside. Oh my God, what art thou? So I think this is like a bag of bath salts. I might be wrong, there's nothing else in here. We'll have to check the spoiler card. But if these are bath salts, I cannot wait to use them because I am obsessed with the smell of these. <sighs> not gonna lie though, I'm not quite sure how this correlates to Sam. Hmm. Huh. So I'm very interested to see when we get to the spoiler card because these aren't really screaming Sam to me, but. I like them nonetheless. If this is what I think it is, I am legit going to lose my mind. This is the item for Boromir, and I think it's his horn. Oh my god, oh my god, holy rabies y'all, holy rabies. 
It is. It's the horn of Gondor. Now it isn't an actual horn. Yes, I did put my mouth to this to try and see if it like blew and made noise. It does not. But even so, I am in love with this. Claire, oh my God, you can't do this to me. And then in these boxes, look how amazing this replica is. The paint job on here, even the gold detail on the end right here just phenomenal oh i do kind of wish this blew and made noise that way i can signal that the orcs are here but i love this nonetheless this wow i kind of want to put a string on it and then like you know carry it around what you guys i legit can't i have no more words for how amazing this is wow okay Again, I need to move on. I need to move on, but what? Okay. And next, we have a ring case with a label that says Aragon. I, I can never say his name right. Don't judge me. Is this his ring? So yes, it is a replica of his ring. I will say this definitely isn't like a high quality replica. Like it doesn't necessarily look or feel like a high quality replica. But that being said, I still kind of love this. Definitely a must have item for a Lord of the Rings collection. Especially if you're into cosplay, you could totally wear this. Sadly, it's a little big for my fingers like it would just fall off but I'm still such a fan of this it'll definitely be going on my Lord of the Rings shelf next to the other ring that I got from Claire which was the one ring to rule them all so yes and next we have a black pouch that says Grimly Grimly so it is a bunch of like crystals or stones with different runes on them I think they're runes I Again, I'm not a thousand percent sure. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh. I honestly don't ever remember him using rune stones though. Maybe that's like a deep book reference that I'm not familiar with. Again, I've only read the first book. Well, kind of read the second book. I need to reread it. I didn't absorb it like I was supposed to. I'm such a fake fan. I'm so sorry. I actually really love these. I'm not sure it's picking up on camera how pretty these are. I actually have some Harry Potter runestones somewhere on one of these shelves. I might put these with my Harry Potter ones because these are actually way prettier. Those were just like black with markings on them. These are actual like crystals. Like look at that. It's like purple. That's pretty. That is so pretty. So yeah, these honestly might end up back here on my Harry Potter shelf. Shh. <laughs> and next, it looks like we have Legolas's item. My favorite character. So it is a little green pouch with this really cute charm on here with a leaf and of course an arrow and a crossbow very cute again another item i think would be really good for like cosplay not my favorite item so far to be honest i don't ever foresee me actually using this but it will again definitely go on my lord of the ring shelf so yes and next we have pippin's recipes Breakfast, second breakfast, elevensies, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner, and supper. And this is what we see on the inside. A lot of pages with the same design so we can put all of our recipes in. Prep time, ingredients, instructions. I'm honestly not a big cooker, so sadly I don't actually have a lot of like recipes to put in here. But not gonna lie guys, I honestly might give this to Calvin's mom and grandma and see if they will put some of their recipes in here because they can cook. Mwah! Chef's kiss. So I know Calvin would love if I actually cooked more of like what his mom did growing up. Sadly, I do not. So I honestly might do that and see if they'll give me some of their recipes. And now if I collect any new recipes through the years, I have a place to put them. And it's Lord of the Rings inspired, so yes, 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 yes. And the last item in the box is 
poor Frodo. Mr. Frodo. Oh my god. I am so glad I saved this item for last. You guys, it's... It's Sting. We have a mini replica of Sting, Frodo's sword. Look at this. I mean, what? This is like a dagger. Is it sharp? No, it's not really sharp, but <laughs> Calvin better not mess with me. You'll see me on the news. She stabbed him with the Lord of the Rings knife. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, guys. I literally have no words. It's, it's like a dagger. It even has the writing on the blade here on both sides and just the detail of the handle and the case. Absolutely amazing. And this actually feels like very good quality. I was so not expecting that. This honestly reminds me of something you would get straight from Noble Collections. I am ready to go on an adventure. Step outside my door, adventure is calling. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, that was it. That was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. Da 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 da. Eagle Mail, a long expected parcel. The Nine Companions. That was the name of this box. Welcome to the Council of Elrond. Here we celebrate the Nine Companions chosen for the fellowship, one to match each of the ring wraiths. I've decided to include the RRP value of each item this time. All prices are in Australian dollars. This box has a value of $221. The first item, Frodo's Sting Letter Opener. This is supposed to be a letter opener. This is the biggest letter opener ever created. I will be using this to open every single box I get, hence forth. Wow. Given to Frodo by Bilbo and originally an elvish dagger, keep handy and ready to fend off orcs or bills. <laughs> if only I could stab bills. Value of $35. Number two was the miniature Gandalf staff. My own version of Gandalf staff. Every single one is handmade with a real quartz crystal. You can display it with your other magical wands made by Claire, value of $20. Number three was Aragorn's ring passed down along the line of heirs to the throne of Gondor. It was Strider's one sign that he wasn't all as he seemed, but a diamond in the rough, value of $10. And then we had Legolas's pouch, traveling light, stow your small essentials in this pouch when you go on your next adventure, wear for cosplay or medieval fairs, embellished by Claire, value of $17. And then we had Gimli's runes. The dwarves were well known for their mining of jewels and use of runes in writing, which Tolkien borrowed from Old Norse. I've included these semi-precious stones for you to play with or display value of $20. Boromir's horn. Boromir would blow his horn before setting out on his journey and the journey from Rivendell was no exception. Despite the company's need for security, this drinking horn can be used as intended or displayed as the Horn of Gondor. Do not immerse in water. Clean around rim and inside only. Oil outside horn once per year. Value of $39. Drinking horn. Can I drink out of this? Challenge accepted. <laughs> Number eight was Sam's seasoning, scented salt, velvet moss, and wood smoke. Sam was most thorough with his packing for the journey and couldn't leave his seasonings behind. It's the best salt in all the Shire and a bit of home. Use as bath salts, foot spa, or for keeping your drawers and wardrobe smelling fresh. And it does have ingredients on here. Value of $10. Mary's, uh, let me get it. Oh my God. Mary's Pint Stein. It comes in pints. Drink responsibly. Hand wash only. Do not microwave. Designed by Claire. Value of $40. And last but not least, we had Pippin's Recipe Journal. 
If you're anything like Pippin and you can't stop thinking about food, write down or print and glue your recipes in this journal so you'll always be prepared come mealtime. Designed by Carol Wolf, wording by Claire. Value of $30. And then it says, this is sadly my last box as I can't realistically regularly curate one this big. I'm still to decide which direction to go in, but have thought of producing smaller boxes or individual items, which would obviously be cheaper for you, especially my international customers. I'll be sure to ask for your input in future social media posts, so watch this space. Or if you'd like to message me your ideas, I'd be happy to take them on board. Thank you for your companionship. And then it has her Instagram on here, which I'll put on the screen. Again, I am so sad that this is the last box, especially because this box was phenomenal. Claire, you knocked it out of the park. I mean, so many amazing replicas. I, I can't even, I literally can't. I honestly think this might be my favorite box from a long expected parcel. What a way to end. This was amazing. But guys, as always, you will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Least favorite? I, what? Is that a thing? I guess if I just had to pick one, it would be the pouch. Favorite item? Oh. What? Don't ask me such questions. Um, I guess if I had to pick, it would be the dagger. Letter opener thing. I can't. I, I literally can't. But I mean, we have a staff and the Horn of Gondor. But as always, I would love to know what you guys thought in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>